okay in the last video we understood that what is an api right so now the time is to the create an laravel application and then we are going to process it further right and here i opened the laravel official documentation and opened the sanctum right and here i have also opened my sql database right so you can use whatever database you like okay and i have installed a fresh installation of laravel and i did this behind the scene i don't want to waste your time okay it's pretty simple i did this using composer composer create project laravel and then i named this api development right and now let's move uh, inside this project so cd uh, api development api development hit enter yes we are in and now i'm going to open this into my vs code i'm going to use this vs code okay hit enter and it will open this into our vs code in a minute okay let's wait for a moment okay yes it's so uh, open this in the vs code right and you can see this my vs code is looks more awesome like uh, uh, default one right so how i did this i'm using different extensions right i'm using different things that how you can uh, switch into the any of any of the files how you can add the namespace at the top how you can connect to uh, this uh, vs code with somewhere else or you can access somewhere someone else vs code into your application right so I have a full course on it that to uh, how you can do this. So let me give you a demo here, playlist. So I'm going to show you this exact thing that uh, if you think that uh, most of the people are asking the question that sir, which theme you are using or how you did this, right? So this one is my course set up VS code for Laravel, right? So we can give it a uh, watch uh, Hello, it's well. around uh, uh, 14 to 15 videos so you can watch it and improve your vs code so it will improve your efficiency right okay uh, now here in this application i'm going to first create a crud right i'm going to create a task crud and then we will uh, use this uh, task crud in our api right and then we will authenticate this into our uh authenticate using this api um, package like sanctum right okay and i'm going to open this uh, at the right top because uh, sometime when my camera is opened here someone is complaining that your commands are not properly visible okay so here the very first thing is we are going to create a uh, api controller right so we are going to create a task card so that's why we need the task model and task migration so type php artisan make uh, model and by the way you can also generate at once controller model factories and so on in the laravel 10 okay and here the task model and then i want to also create the migration so i will add the and flag here okay it's created and now I want to also create controller, right? So just type this PHP artisan make controller. Okay. And I want to add this into the API directory, right? So just add this API first. And then why I'm adding this into the API because I want to uh, add my controller separately, right? I don't want to mess up with the web controllers, right? And here I'm going to add this uh, task controller and then this controller should be the resource controller right so just try this resource and then this should be an api controller so add this api so what it does basically it will uh, escape the other methods like uh, uh, it's a edit it will escape the edit method right and also uh, skip the create method it will not create this create these methods so let me show you in a minute controllers api and yes task controller is created right so let's go down this and open this task controller it's containing the index it doesn't contain the store uh, it doesn't contain the create right store show 
and there is no edit right that's the purpose of api resource okay everything is fine and now i want to first to create my database right so first to create the database connections on my side um, it's spare time so i'm pausing this video and coming back okay so here i'm going to set up my database connections i'm going to name this so uh, uh, api development okay uh, copy this and let's go here and create a new database here we add the api development create and that's it we don't need to interact with the database stuff right because we are in the laravel and by the way i have created a new installation and i'm using the laragon right so it will allow me to automatically create the domain for me i don't need to create my virtual host it will create for me automatic so start it again and yes it's detected a new product and yes and here i can open this my api development dot test this one is a domain of my project enter and it will open my laravel application and yes we are in the laravel 10 and it's opened here right okay so now our database is connected and uh, now i want to create to uh, work on this uh, task table so go here and first uh, thing we need the volume key right uh, I am going to add the user login key. Why I am adding the user login key? Because I will uh, connect to user uh, with the task. So one user have uh, many tasks and uh, we will link this uh, with the user. So in the later videos, we will fetch only specific user task. So we will use the authorization to fetch only the specific user of tasks. So that's why I am creating a login key. And in the 8, 9, and 10, it's pretty simple to create the foreign key, right? Here, just define the foreign ID here and type user ID and make sure this one would be the your model name, right? And then this ID prefix, okay? And then here, you need to apply the constraint. And if your uh, table name is uh, following the laravel convention so you don't need to mention your table name otherwise if your table name is uh, not the user in this case it's admin so i need to mention this like this but if it's a user right using this uh, plural right so it means that i don't need to mention it here right okay and then i'm going to add uh, a string which contain the task name task name and then contain the task status right and this would be the i'm going to add the tiny uh, integer here i'm going to add this uh, status right and uh, that's it i don't need to i don't want to add multiple feed i just want to i'm shooting this for the administration purposes uh, educational purposes that's why i'm adding fewer columns okay save this one and then migrate this php artisan migrate so it will uh, create tables in our database migrate and yes created user table personal access token we will use this for the sanctum and then task i didn't edit this it's by default coming with the laravel uh, solution give it a refresh api development and yes we have uh, now a uh, user id of foreign key right a name and a status right okay uh, so here let's close this one and now i'm going to also uh, go to my model and make this fillable right okay so define this uh, not public so protected protected fillable and then should be the user id then name and i'm following this uh, same like i did this uh, uh, same arrangement i did this uh, in the migration so it's helped me to not forget any of the column right uh, here you can also add the got it property here you don't need to mention all of these columns just pause and empty array okay 
this one is done this one is done and do uh, now our model is created our database is created and we don't have any task right so it means that we need some fake task so how to add the fake task so for this we will use the laravel factories to get the fake data so create the factory here so it would be the php artisan let me move this to the top it will not irritate anyone php artisan make factory and then also make sure that prefix uh, uh, here uh, suffix with the factory so for example my model name is task so i'm going to uh, add the suffix uh, factory right so you need to add this this is the laravel convention hit enter yes it's created and here if i come here in the factories so it's uh, there is a definition method which contain a return array so here you need to specify your column name with the values so the first one would be the user id right so how we will grab the user id right okay uh, so for the user id i'm going to create a uh, few users first and then i'm going to pull the user id so i need the user factory too right so by default to uh, uh, laravel application can, uh, comes with the user factories okay click on this user factory here and uh, this contain a fake name email and so on so it means that it will create a user for us right so i want to create the 10 user so i will uh, add this into my cedar right so first uh, let me uh, work with this uh, task factory here so here i'm going to add this user id right and which user id i want to add so here i'm going to use this rand function i'm going to mention this one to five right so basically it will uh, uh, randomly pick a number between one to five um, no it will pick randomly one or maybe four or maybe five three four or something like this so that's why i did this like this okay and then here i'm going to add a name right so here we can use a faker object to add the fake name right okay so this and then faker and then you can also use a sentence or you can name right okay and then there would be a status and status could be the you can also this and number between number number between helper right uh, number between but it's not available so i'm going to use a same rand function so now i'm going to choose a status uh, from 1 to 10 right i'm assigning this integer status why because i will use this so using uh, um constant so i will uh, explain this what one present or what is the meaning of one what is the meaning of two and so on so why i'm adding this you know, as an integer because it will not slow down our database because if we will add the string into our database so it's slower than integer so that's why i did the integer and for the readability purposes i will use a constant to visualize properly that what one presents right okay we have a name and then random values 1 to 10 and here we need the 1 to 5 um, uh, user ids right so when uh, where these ids come from so let's wait for a moment okay uh, just go to the database seeder this seeder is executed when we run php artisan db seed come on, right so here i'm going to add my all of the uh, factories so our first factory is user factory right hit user model and then call the factory and then here uh, how many users you want to create so for example i want to create the uh, five user right and then use this create method like this right and after this i want to create the task right so add the task model uh, factory right and i also want to create the five task can then uh, create this and by the way you can also use this uh, use these uh, 
uh, seed this data using the relationship right i haven't built the relationship so that's why i'm doing this manually okay and now i'm going to execute this database seeder and uh, by the way this uh, this will create the five user right and here i'm using this uh, from one to five right so our this uh, okay let me go to the database seeder so this will create the five user and then this came to this one and then uh, we have uh, uh, five users here right and it will uh, add their ids from one to five it will randomly add the ids right so it will not throw any exception i'm sure right but if it will so we'll fix the issue no problem okay uh, now it's execute uh, let's execute this uh, database seeder this one right so command is php artisan db seed so it will execute this database seeder hit enter seeding database right so it means that it's completed successfully and if i go ahead and give it a refresh and do uh, yes click on this users and yes we have five users and if i go here to the task and yes we have five tasks with our different uh, user id right so we are successfully able to fake our data into the application right so let me also check the video size I don't want to bore my students so i will uh, cover the rest of the things in the next video and if you like this video subscribe the channel and share your thoughts uh, about this course i'll meet you in the next one bye bye guys